Hi, so this is a blog review um, on day 105 what makes us human movements um, of the activists journey to life and yeah so the article is very into or the blog post is very interesting and uh, also uh, fun to read but the real point is as stated already here the question what the fuck is it that makes us human because Yes, a girl grew up with cows, moose, behaves like a cow, and I read the, um, the article in the Daily Mail, but I did not really like get the point of what it really means that... Um, the girl or any child for that matter that grows up with animals for example or in the wilderness uh, completely adapts to this environment and the animals so it's like uh, the very core for me of this is that uh, one or the human being can be completely stripped of uh, the pre-programmed systems that is existent and uh, basically live as a uh, completely different being there is no um, yeah there as also stated here there is no human nature that's quite interesting and significant because um, Because this is <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it is quite awesome because uh, for me it uh, allows or it is the realization that we are not uh, we can in in a few generations for example uh, actually uh, change and unfuck humanity that also here with the points of what also is very fascinating that um, the feral kids even adjusted their physical bodies to copy the adoptive animal parents they displayed enhanced vision speed hearing and curved talon like nails so if an infant is so receptive to blending in with the environment what makes you think that one of us is any different yeah what well, is the human from this perspective uh, is it there is no uh, limitation basically Mm, 
from the perspective of it is even the physical uh, programming and design is not uh, completely set when a child comes into this world and this is yeah it is like um, for me it's like the point of that we are really from the earth like earth beings that is not necessarily uh, defined in a way um, to to be uh, humans <laughs> and that is quite amazing yes that's quite amazing and that it can that we can also uh, change in in a matter of a few generations because what is needed for this is obviously the parents and the parents that behave in a way that this behavior reflects what is best for life, best for all, and this behavior must, or this behavior will then accordingly be absorbed and lived by the child, by the new being, by the new life, by the new earthling, and Yeah, so this is quite, this is quite a cool point, because it is not, uh, because what really, for example, can step forth in the process is not defined. Uh, at least according to my mind it is not defined and that is cool so um, yeah here Jerry's gives also a few cool examples what is what behaviors for example we should or can eradicate we are now to, we are not taught to live in harmony with nature and live according to sustainability and using only what we need but we are taught how to blow mountains up drill really deep into the earth cut down forests use pesticides and generally make a new sense of ourselves without giving a shit and we don't even have the decency to return our shit to the earth to be used as compost we rather flush down the toilet and think on it no more so yes that there are certainly lots of behaviors that is not best for all and also not not simply not how the most or the other living beings here behave so 
there this is a very interesting point thanks for the blog and bye